good day. My name is Joe Kruger, a student number KRU050. Welcome to Bite the Fit Wellness Center. And today we're going to do the final exam video. Welcome to Bite the Fit Wellness Center. And today I'm going to show you how to correctly perform a blood pressure and the resting heart rate. This is my client. Nicoline and she signed all her consent forms and today we're going to take her blood pressure. So let's get started. Not too tight around the arm. One twenty over eight. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Me and Nicolene. We're now going to take a resting heart rate. Two is place two fingers on top of the pulse. Feel the heartbeat, and as soon as you start feeling it, time it for about thirty seconds and multiply by two. Welcome back and we have a result 38 times 2 gives us 76 heartbeats per minute at a resting rate which is very good, very healthy. Welcome back, now we're going to do the flexibility test to see how flexible Nicolene is. Tell Nicolene, as far as you can, don't hurt yourself. That's good, that's a good six, so I would say it is good, very flexy, high five. Hi guys, welcome back, here's me and Nicoline, we're now checking out our height, Let's see what your height is. And that would be a solid 1.78 meter. Welcome back, we're just going to check her posture, straight spinal cord, chin up, chest out, also, no interior pelvic tilt or exterior pelvic tilt. Nice straight legs and a nice step. So I would say she's got a very good posture. And we're now going to do waist to hip ratio, starting just under the lower hip bone in centimeters. And that would give me 88 centimeters. So now we're doing the waist in centimeters. And that would be 71 centimeters. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm going to give you the formula for waist to hip ratio. And it's going to be waist over hip. So the waist would be 71 um, over 88 the hip. And that gives us 0.8. Welcome back. Now we're quickly going to take her kilograms. And we've got a 59.4 The body mass index formula would be the weight over the height equals an answer also then over the height. That would give you your BMI. The weight is 59.4 kilograms over a height of 1.78 meters. Gives me an answer which is 33 then again over the height of 1.78 and that gives me a beautiful BMI of 18. Welcome back, I'm here with Nicolene. We're going to do a professional six skin fold body fat percentage test. I do have her consent. We're only going to touch the six areas that we need for the test. Welcome back, we're now going to start with Nicolene's tricep. We are going to measure on the left side because she is left handed. So now we're going to take the measurement in the middle of the upper arm. Keep your tricep relaxed and get a measurement of a beautiful 20. Welcome back, second is the subscapular which is down here. Quickly going to measure that one. And it's a beautiful 11. And thirdly, it is the supralium on the left side again. She's going to help me. And I will be measuring 
that is 16 Come back and number four is the abdominal area she's gonna help me so we don't feel uncomfortable and that's a beautiful 19 now for number five is the thigh in the middle of the femur that's where we will take the skin and that will give me a beautiful 38 welcome back and for number six is medial calf Nicoline will now be flexing her calf so I can see where to measure it will be there relax your calf a beautiful 27 welcome back and now for the formula of the body fat percentage it will now be the sum of the six skin folds times 0 0.1051 plus 2.58 the sum is 131 times 0 0.1051 plus 2.58 equals 16.3 percent body fat percentage which is really good and it's an athletic body fat percentage which you can be proud of Nicolene high five here yeah. hi guys welcome back today we're going to do a five minute warm up on the bike and um, we're going to take a maximum heart rate but we're going to make sure she doesn't go over the limit but we're going to still make sure she's going to sweat okay. Okay, so sitting with her hand on the heart rate monitor to make sure we know what her maximum heart rate is at the end. Come, 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 drag, 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 drag. Can I make you up, drag? And her. Welcome back, Nicolene is done. Your average heart rate was 138 beats, which is really good. We were in an 80% training zone. Definitely say that you are fit and very healthy. So well done. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are now going to do the 12 minute walk, and then we're going to take her heart rate at the end as well as her resting heart rate. Five minutes that she has done her 12 minute walk. Exactly. Okay, then bye bye if you're super fat. I'm going to eat it for 12 minutes. Put this in your ass and I'm going to eat it for the rest of the time. Okay, in your mouth. Bye, boy. Nicolene's heart rate was 132 beats per minute. Now we're going to take a resting heart rate five minutes after she has cooled down. Nicolene's resting heart rate was 33 for 30 seconds. So I multiplied it by two and that gives me 66 heartbeats per minute, five minutes after a 12 minute walk. That's very good and she's very fit. Now Nicolene's VO2 max formula will be as follow 65.81 because she is a female minus in brackets 0.1847 times the recovery uh, heart rate beats per minute equals 65.81 minus in brackets 0.1847 times 66 which is the recovery heart rate beats per minute equals 65.81 minus in brackets 12,1902 gives me 53.6198 and the final answer would be 53.62 milliliters per kilogram per minute. the 
P in F stretch, which means I'm gonna help her to stretch her hamstrings for 20 seconds. Two, three, four, and ten. Now we're going to do some static stretches with Nicolini. Let's get to it. Okay, so now we're going to start with some rotators, three repetitions each. So let's start. Two, three, and one, two, three, out. Other side in. One, two, three, reps back. One, two, three, and one, two, three, reps. One, and one, two, three. Also gonna do some pretzels to stretch that lower back. One, two, up. Four, five, six. And one, two, three, four. Hamstring stretches, always remember to keep your shoulders relaxed, chest out, chin up, and your stomach tucked in. Not too far, but also keeping the head and the back, the spinal cord straight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Welcome back, and now we're going to do one abdominal exercise. Two sets of eight reps with six to ten seconds rest in between. Lying leg lifts. Firstly, I'm going to activate her abdominal area, ask her to tighten it, lift her legs up just a few inches from the ground for two seconds, about five repetitions, and then let her go to the floor again. So let's activate the abdominal area. One, two, and drop. And another rep. Two, one, two, three, and drop. Three. One, five. One, two, three. First leg up, two sets of eight. And one, two, slowly. Three, four, well done. And eight, slowly down. Let's rest for six seconds. And one, two, three. Six and one. Well done. Two. Slowly. Three. Keep that tummy tucked. Four. Seven. Eight. Well done. Almost there. We're now going to do some squats. Two sets of ten and six seconds rest period in between. So posture's got to be right again. Chin up. Shoulders relaxed. Chest out. And back knee in the middle. One. Don't lock those knees. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And ten. Let's rest. Six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And one. Two. Three. Four. Remember to breathe. Nine. Don't lock those knees. And ten. We're now going to do reverse lunge, not hurt the patella. Um, we're going to do two sets of eight with a resting period of five seconds in between. Tongue in tongue, chest up, shoulder relaxed, and chin up. One, three, two, four, three, five, four. Six, five, nine, seven, and eight, ten, let's go. Rest. One, one, two, three, two, four, five, three, and one, four, two, five, three, six, nine, seven, and go. Go, 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 go. Good. Now, eight. That's five, that's five. Ten, five. Well done. Go. We're now going to do two upper body exercises. 
first exercise will be dumbbell curls with 2 kgs. Tummy tuck, chin up, shoulders relaxed and chest out. That way you won't get hurt. We're going to do two sets of 10 reps with 6 seconds of rest in between. And 1, 2, 3, 4, slowly, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 and 10. Well done. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and let's go. 1, 2, well done. 3, chin up. 4, 8, 9 and 10. Well done. And fist bump. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We're now going to do tricep kickbacks as you can see you have to have the posture correct tummy tucked chin up shoulders relaxed no hump of the back okay we're going to lift up our arms squeeze the ribs and we're going to do two sets of 10 four counts of rest in between let's go and one two Bend your knees, three, four, five, well done, six, nine, and ten, relax for four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, lift up your arms a little bit, five, let's go, and ten. Welcome back. Now we're going to do the muscle endurance crunch test. We're going to see how many crunches Nicolene can do in 60 seconds. So let's start. You ready? Remember to keep your chin up and high five me every time. Let's go. Five. Seven. Start up there. Ten seconds. Boy. Boy. Welcome back. Nicoline did 44 setups or crunches in 60 seconds. It's very, very good. Welcome back. We are now going to do the medicine ball push power test. And um, she's going to have three attempts. <laughs> and um, we're going to see which one is the furthest and the best. Go. One. Okay, well done. Second attempt. Number three. Beautiful. Well done. You believe it very well. Her first two attempts was between 1.7 and 1.2 meters, but the third one was the furthest, and that's about 1.85 meters. Okay. You believe it very well, and I would rate it. 